Good morning, guys. Did you have fun discovering your bodies yesterday and painting yourself and writing your names or building your names? Did you have fun, guys? Awesome. Let's start today with our good morning song. You ready? Here we go. Good morning, good morning. How are you? How are you? Very well, I thank you. Very well, I thank you. I am good. I am good. Are you good? Right. You ready for today? Yay. Awesome. All right. So today we are going to talk about our body as a whole. All right. So not just our body parts, but our body as a whole. So our activities today is going to be full body activities. So our first activity that we are doing is going to be a Play-Doh activity. So that is where you are going to build yourself with Play-Doh. So here teacher already built herself. Have a look-see. There we go. I have a head, a body, arms and legs. And I added some hair for myself. Okay. So when you do this guys, you need to take a piece of Play-Doh and you need to put it in your hands like this and then you roll it to form the head. So we roll it and then we form a head like that and we're going to use snake forms. So we're going to roll it flat, 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 like that to form a snake so that we can form our body and our legs and our arms. Okay, so you guys must use those little hands today to roll the Play-Doh into the shapes that you need. But remember when you are building your body that you have a head, a body, arms and legs. Okay, well done guys. See you in a minute. Okay, guys, so our second activity for today is one where you need a big paper and then you must go lie down on the paper. And you must promise teacher that you are going to lie still. That your mom or your dad or whoever is looking after you can draw the outline of you. Now I know this is strange and you might move around a little bit. But please try and lie still. Alright, so when that is done, it's going to look like this. Depending on how you were lying down and if you were lying still. Okay, doesn't matter how it looks, if the arms are up or down, depends on how you want to look in your life-size drawing. Alright, so have fun doing that and we will see you just now for the other activity. When you are done drawing your outline of yourself, teacher asked mommy or daddy to cut up that picture of you so that there's a head and shoulders and arms and a body and legs and feet and hands depending on how they cut it up you are going to build yourself almost like a puzzle all right and here teacher has a black paper just for me because mine is a little bit smaller than yours so now my boy remember i told you about eli yes eli we drew eli's shape okay so eli has a head just like you would have a head okay then Eli has a body, okay, and he has uh, hips, okay, and Eli has legs, let's see, Eli has legs, and, oops, Eli, well, what's Eli missing? His arms, yes. Eli is missing his arms. So we put Eli's arms back. Alright, so you guys must go build that puzzle for teacher. Alright, but while you're doing this, you and mommy can go through the different body parts. So you can say head, you can say shoulders, you can say arms and hands, you can say hips and legs and feet while you are building your stuff. All right. All right, boys and girls, there's a nice rhyme that goes with our whole body activity today. Are you ready? Do you want to join me with this? All right, let's go. My hands are for clapping. My arms can hug tight. My fingers can snap and turn off the light. My legs are for jumping. 
My eyes help me see. This is my body and I love all of me. Hey, you want to try that one more time? Let's do that. My hands are for clapping. My arms can hug tight. My fingers can snap and turn off the light. My legs are for jumping. My eyes help me see. This is my body and I love all of me. All right, guys, have fun with that rhyme. And guys, our last activity today is also got to do with your body. So remember, teacher told you in our first video, video that our number is one and two this week. Can you show me one again? One and show me two, two. If you look on the wall behind teacher, there's one and two. All right, so what I need you to do is go and stand in front of a mirror. All right, take mom with you or dad with you. Go stand in front of a mirror and then you look in the mirror and you look at your body and you can tell mommy what it is that you only have one body part of and what it is that you have two body parts of. So one thing that we have is we have one head and we've got one nose and one mouth and one belly button. Yes, you've got one belly button. All right, and the things you have two of is two hands and two feet. Can you stomp your feet? Did you hear? It stomped it twice. So there's two feet and you have two eyes and you have two ears. Can you see? Two ears. One, two. So that is one and two. All right for this week. So remember one and two. What do you have one body part of and what do you have two body parts of? All right. All right, boys and girls. So that is the end of day two, where we were learning about our body as a whole and how much eyes and ears we have and how many noses and mouths we have. All right. Just for last time, show me one and two. It's one and two. Good job. Teacher will see you tomorrow. Have a good day and enjoy your activities. Bye.